Good morning to everyone, I'm Gianluca Maguolo and the paper I'm presenting is Deep Ensembles based on stochastic activation selection for polyp segmentation. First of all, what we mean with stochastic activation selection. With stochastic activation selection, we mean a method to create an ensemble of neural networks, which is summarized on the right of the slide. The image on the right is a summary of a generic neural network ensemble. So we have a method to create different networks and we use each one of these networks to have a prediction um, of our input and then we average the predictions to have the prediction of the general ensemble. On the left of the slide we have the pseudocode of our method which takes as input a network architecture uh, C that is deep lab here, since we use our method for segmentation, but it could be any network, even for classification, the method does not apply directly to segmentation, but is very general. Then we have a set of activation functions A, and we choose an, a number of classifiers N. Then um, we take the network architecture C, and we change every activation layer in C with a, a random activation, selected from A. So what we get is a new network architecture that has, in, in theory, um, different activation layers in every activation layer. So we have uh, different activation functions in every activation layer. Since this method is stochastic, we can iterate this algorithm multiple times and have multiple different networks, N in this case, uh, that are different from each other, and we use these networks to create an ensemble. We train uh, each one of uh, these networks on our training set, and we apply uh, this method using um, DeepLab V3 Plus with ResNet50 as a backbone network to the QuasiResec dataset, which is uh, a dataset of polyp image segmentation in colonoscopies. And what we see is that our ensemble manages to outperform an ensemble made by deep lab V3s uh, with the same cardinality and uh, the same size of the ensemble uh, using ResNet50 or ResNet101 as backbone networks if uh, the activation functions uh, of these networks are always ReLU. So we managed to uh, create an effective way to create an ensemble of networks and we um, beat our baseline. Besides, we see that uh, with our method, we managed to outperform every other method um, in the literature, except for Hardinet and SAG. Um, so we managed to uh, beat everyone but this approach. However, um, they use larger data augmentation because we only use for as a data augmentation uh, random uh, flips and uh, random de um, rotations by 90 degrees so it's a very simple data augmentation um, while uh, in hard dnet and sag the data augmentation is larger so as a byproduct in our paper we show once again uh, as it was known that the documentation is a very important technique for generalization in neural networks. And that was all. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the conference.